to see you. See you, Mr. President. Yeah. Thank you. Well. Oh, you know. well, that's good. Thank you very oh, much. Sorry. Mr. President, that's for you. Uh, Sheriff of Monmouth County, I'm going to present you with our official cap. Well, thank you very much. Very honored to be here. I just want to tell you uh, an interesting story. Uh, in 1980, with the help of President Reagan, I was elected sheriff of my county, and uh, I was able to beat a five-term incumbent who was well entrenched. And I've been successful ever since in being re-elected. Well, I'm not these are really so because I know what you've done in regard to that identification and so forth. And yes. Yes, children. Could I just have a shot with you, Mr. President, without the hat? Oh, yes. Because. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Can I shake your hand? You sure can. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. It's really a, a great honor to be down here, but uh, I wish you continued good health and Success and it's just so great to be here today. And, uh, I'm going to continue to work in law enforcement and uh, our identity kid and identity adult programs. And our, we have a special needs program for the handicap now with the special identification. Yes. And we'll continue there. In fact, one little thing I have to tell you many years ago, you starred in a movie where you played the sheriff. Remember, you had the badge and the hat on. This is many years ago now. I'm going back as a marshal, I think. Marshall, that's yeah. right. Well, I have a large <laughs> picture of that uh, on my wall in my den. Well, my sister gave it to me many years ago, so you were a law enforcement in your own right in that movie. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Yeah. It's really been a pleasure, and thank you ever so much for allowing me this opportunity. Well, my honor, and I'm very pleased to see that. to you and Mrs. Wright. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Okay. Mr. President, this is Elaine Klotz. Hello there. How are you? Uh, nice to see you. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce to you the 1988 America's Junior Miss of the yeah, Lawyer yeah. in Hollywood. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. And I have something for you, really for Miss Nancy Reagan. And this is an America's Junior Miss Be Your Best Self t-shirt. And this is a program that America's Junior Miss is sponsoring to well, promote positive self-esteem for young people of today. Well, thank you very much. You'll be <laughs> you very sure are welcome. To have that. Yes. And I'll make her wear it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry we don't have it in red. <laughs> I'm sorry. President Reagan, this is 1987. Yes. America's Junior Miss. Trudy, too, was not able to see you last year. I was supposed to meet you last year. Yeah. Well, I don't mind meeting you this year, that's for sure. And we have a little memorabilia for you from our scholarship program. America's Junior Miss Watch. Well, thank you very much. Well, that's very handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'd like to know that I support everything that you've been doing. And in fact, I'm a college Republican at Northwestern University. Well, bless Working you. hard for Bush Clan. <laughs> well, thank you. I also Why don't we square Bush it button and ask right. okay. 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 This would be wonderful. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. President, I'd like to say that I was sorry I couldn't see you at Baylor University. That's my school. Oh, it is? Yes, and I was traveling at the time, and I was so upset. Well, well, I'm going to get you We are so excited to have you and to listen to you talk about all, all that you've done. You really have been a wonderful, wonderful president. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Well, bless you. <laughs> And thank you both for my presence. I'd like to leave you with something a little special. I coordinate the Department of Education program that you helped to initiate in 1983-84 for the Mobile County Public Schools. Yes. And our superintendent. Thank you. And this is from Leadership Mobile, and I wanted you to have that. Yeah. We're not supposed to give those pins away, 
But at our next meeting, when they ask where mine is, I'm going to tell them, I just had to give it to us. And I have to leave this with you. I have a 16-year-old entrepreneur, and she wanted you to have that because she's really interested in having her own production company in Florida one day. Is she, she's, this is my 16-year-old. has her own video, Memories Company. So she thinks it forever. We'd yeah. love to sit down for hours on end and talk to you about the scholarship program and how it's so much more than a pageant. I think we have to leave sometime. I know. January. I know. <laughs> we'll come. President, you know, Senator Graham. How are you, Mr. President? Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ms. President, I want to introduce you to Clint Peoples, who is our senior law enforcement official in America. I know. And uh, longer tenure than anybody. And today, we're going to have you ceremonially give him a new badge that no one has ever had before, Executive Marshal for the Bicentennial. This is a 10th badge that Clint Peoples has worn in his life. Well, for heaven's sakes, I'm very proud and pleased to have the privilege of presenting that to Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I appreciate it, sir. We, you know, we both share the same number of years. I know it. I'm five <laughs> months and 12 days older than you are. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and you're both still on the job for America. That's right. We're going to stay yes. on there, aren't we? That's right, yes. <laughs> we are. You're looking great. Well, congratulations to you. And Thank you. Very man. pleased to have this opportunity. I'm very pleased you, to be Mr. able to do it. Sure. it was Thank you for so being nice. here. Yeah. So nice of you to take up your time. Yeah. Couldn't take it up for any more worthy cause. Thank you, sir. We, as I was telling him, tell his wife now, we were behind Miss Jun Junior Miss, and we were in front of Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> so we were right where we should have been. I won't two, tell him. two Junior Misses. Oh, that's, that's right. last year. <laughs> good to see you again. Well, good take to see care of you. yourself. Bye-bye. Thank you. President, you know Senator Rudy Boschwitz. I sure do, Rudy. Hi. My wife, Helen. Yes, Hello, Hello, Mr. President. Hello. How are you? Hi, Mr. You. President. Yes. This, yes. this is uh, Gretchen Carlson, uh, who is Miss America. Yes, Miss America. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'd like to have one with her, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Senator. No, 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 the, with you, too, Mr. President. Yeah, but Oh, with Ellen too? Yes. Come on, Ellie. And with Ellie, come on, Ellie. This well, is right. Ellie Ross, who Travis kind of is uh, Gretchen's keeper. She's oh, my mother for the year. Well, well, do you want to come over here? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I touch? about as busy a schedule as I am. You are exactly yes. right. In fact, in my first press conference, I thought, now I know what President Reagan feels like. So all, all the microphones there. I go to school out at Stanford, so I'm familiar with yes, the California area. And uh, I'm pleased to say that when I turned 18, you were running for election, and I got to cast my first vote for you. Well, thank you very much. And I wish you were running again. There, there's some of the administration at Stanford that uh, don't vote for me. <laughs> I know that, and I was surprised to find that out when I, when I was out there. But um, I was, and you had plenty of support. I think that what's happening on the campuses is that some of those radicals of the 60s have now become professors. That's right. <laughs> it's very true. And, yeah. and our main uh, rival is Berkeley. Berkeley oh, tends to be yeah. more liberal, so. Yeah. Yeah, yes. But we're holding in there. I'm well, still supporting that side. <laughs> well, bless you. Okay. It's and a pleasure you. to meet you, sir. Well, nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. Nice to, nice to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for it. It was a nice oh, meeting. Appreciate. Nice meeting this That's morning. Nice. All right. Thank you. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. Yeah. Pleased to have you. Here. I think today we want to turn around and face those cameras there. So why don't you turn around too? Yeah, you think I should? <laughs> so pleased to meet you. Well, pleased to meet you. So pleased to meet you. But you won't be able to take a picture of the camera. You have it all wrapped up. Sure, we can. I think we should. Sure. Okay. I think we want to see what's in here. I think so too. <laughs> yeah,
You bet. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just a second. You're going to break some. You know that. I've got something. Well, go ahead and I can get another piece. Well, you're prepared. <laughs> you got a quilt every day and then you're prepared, huh? You just stuff this down. You had the wrong side of your mouth. Is there something else in the box that you say? I thought I brought a book along for him. But it probably like wasn't in that. It just, um, I guess I must have been there. Probably it's okay. She had to go up to New York oh, yeah. on the anti-drug program. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a busy lady. She's a busy lady. She's doing a good work. And you thank you for you. seeing us. Well, thank, thank you. you both. And I want to thank you for listening to the voice of the Christian people in, in yes. America. And I thank you for that. 
Mm -hmm. I fancy myself as well. Yes, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, God bless you. God bless Thank you. you very much. Thanks a lot for your time. My God. <laughs> yeah. I can think of a couple of terrible words. <laughs> Have I got the floor, Mr. President? You've got the floor. Well, I appreciate your uh, taking a few minutes to chat with me. Uh, if I could, I'd like to, to uh, just remind you of uh, some things that, that we've talked about before, but not recently, and I, just to be sure they're in, in context. About, uh, well, uh, some time back. I approached you with a request that you issue an executive order uh, prohibiting the sale of sexually explicit material on uh, federal property, on federal office buildings, and on military bases, embassies, and so on. And uh, that idea originally occurred to me uh, after the chief executives of a number of uh, private concerns took that step. And in fact, I was greatly encouraged when uh, I happened to be talking to the head of a, of a large uh, grocery chain, well, the 7-Eleven stores who reported to me that after he had, uh, amid a lot of publicity, uh, banned the sale of these uh, magazines, that Playboy and Penthouse and Hustler and so on, that he had been contacted by you and that you told him that you admired him for doing it and thought it was the right decision and so on. And of course, uh, Jack Eckert uh, down in Florida did the same and highest drug stores and some of the truck stop operators. Well, the how are you? so good to see you. Good to see you. Good. What you this day? Good and loud, Jonathan. How do you do, Mr. President? Hello there. <laughs> well, I do just fine, and I'm glad to see you. And this is Meredith. Meredith. Hello, Mr. President. Give me your eyes. Nice to see you. Give me your eyes. And what do you say, Robert? Hello, Mr. President. Well, hello to you. <laughs> and I'm the taller half. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Well, why don't we get a family picture? Well, thank you. And we would love that. I want to get the middle, and I maybe so. we could line up in front of us. And we'll see. Okay. Where's that? All right. Right here. Good. Well, let's make sure we get it. Yeah, we're going to do it That's like this. Very good. That's great. Yeah, good smiles. Look at the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Big smiles. Cheese. One more. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I want you to know they are all born during your administration. Well. <laughs> When we came to Washington in 1980, it was just the two of us, so we're mm -hmm. delighted. So these are all President Reagan children. <laughs> now, Elizabeth wanted to tell us, what did you want to say to the president? What did you say this morning? I want you to go to uh, Cal California. She doesn't want you to go to California. Oh, but I have to. That's where I live. <laughs> but they said you could live in our basement. They, want you to, they still want you to be president. But I got a ranch out there with a lot of horses to ride. <laughs> so who's, then who's going to be the next president if he can't stay? George Bush. George Bush. That's yes, right. I think that's just fine. What do, we, what do we say to the president for giving us his time? What do we say? Thank you. Well, thank you all. <laughs> it's nice to see you all. Say goodbye, Elizabeth. Bye. Give him your eyes. Bye. Why don't you goodbye, give Elizabeth. Give him a kiss on the cheek. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. All right. So gracious of you to do this. I'm very grateful. It's a great pleasure. Thank you.
Mr. Zimish. Well, hello. So happy to see you. Tanya Zeman? Yes, hello. Nice to see you. And Vera Zeman? Vera, how do you do? Hello. Galena? Galena, hello there. Nice to see you. Of course, I know you're, you're Americans now. Hello. Welcome. Well, you know, before we sit down for our visit, if you would, we'd like to go out to our White House press corps there, and they would like to get pictures and so forth. So when we go out, we'll go down a couple of steps on the landing there, just to pause, and I'll tell who you are. And we'd like to have, when we get there, you would be beside me you beside him, and then Nancy will be on the other side. I'm between. Huh. I know the way it's And you're, 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 on, no, uh, you're, you're on the outside. Of, of oh, I'm not? And then you are... You're all the way on the Yes. That's and you. That's me. Yeah, but I'm not on the outside. I'm not, I'm yes, I'm that's you. That's me. the river on the surface of the water, yeah. the press would report, President can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, now tell us about yes. that. I, uh, have you gotten treatment? Yes, uh, I do the tests. And, uh, the doctor said that I can start working and when the next attack happens, they have to do some tests with my eyes. But now I feel well and I'm very happy. <laughs> well, the attacks may have something to do with the, the stress. <laughs> yeah. And also pressure. the permission to leave was the best medicine. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> well. I remember you saying on the phone that after you got the permission that he was like a new man. Yes. yes. It was just really a few. Like <laughs> like Is that young lady going to school? The two schools, Two schools. Also, the musical school in Boston. Hmm? The last time we saw you was at Spasa House. Yes. They told us that. Yeah. And I was then absolutely hopeless. That's it. Yeah, we thought that's the end of the story. We 
told them they had broken our, their word to us. And uh, things began to happen. <laughs> I know.